Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Zephyr from Hack the Box. And if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And let's keep growing. Let's have some fun and jump on the desktop. All right, everyone, so here we are on the desktop now. So what we're gonna be talking about is my experience with Zephyr and my feedback and just a review on this machine or on this ProLab, right? So obviously it is 17 flags and 17 machines and the difficulty is intermediate. So if we come down here, we can see a little backstory of Zephyr server management have been hired by Painter's organization to actively maintain their infrastructure as they continue to grow as a business. So pretty much we have to do a quarterly pen test and they employed us to penetrate their network. That's pretty much what they're saying. Okay, so if we move down here, what is Zephyr? Let me make this a little bigger. So let's come back up. And let's make this a little bigger. Whoa, that's a that's a lot bigger. All right, so I think that should be good. So what is Zephyr? So Zephyr is a great introductory lab for Active Directory. And it was. If you're looking to get into Active Directory pen testing, this is an awesome lab. And if you're doing the CPTS exam from Hack the Box as well, and you're working on the Academy for the pen tester or the penetration tester path, this is awesome supplement boxes, right? I really enjoyed it. I did uh, Zephyr, I did Rasta Labs and Dante. So, and I'm working on cybernetics and APT Labs. And one one thing, I just don't really talk about what I do. Um, you know, my channel is very entry level and the courses I do are very entry level. So those are the folks I really wanna target. But if you guys are interested in learning more about pen testing Active Directory, do these boxes, you'll learn a ton. And um, yeah, so let's continue, right? So Zephyr is an intermediate level red team simulator environment designed to be attacked as a means of learning and honoring your engagement skills, right? So what is this saying? Pretty much you're trying to learn Active Directory hacking and you can leverage this and learn and use these techniques on a real assessment, right? So Zephyr includes wide range of essential Active Directory flaws and misconfigurations to allow players to get a foothold in a corporate environment. So that's pretty much what it was. And who is it for? You can see down here, it's a basic knowledge, what you should know, basic knowledge of penetration testing tools, basic understanding of Windows and Linux operating systems, basic understanding of Windows Active Directory, basic knowledge of MS SQL servers, uh, basic web application exploitation skills, basic knowledge of PowerShell, basic pivoting knowledge, proxy change and Metasploit usage, and basic Bloodhound usage, right? So the attitude, obviously the willingness to undertake a significant amount of research. There's definitely some research that you have to do I got stuck a few times, I had a research and we got through it together, right? With a little bit of Google Foo. Patience, right? Thinking outside the box, key attention to details, absolutely. You know, just make sure you take thorough notes. And if you need help, the community is awesome. Go out to Discord, go out to other people and say, oh, I'm stuck here. You know, can you give me a little hint or can you give me a little nudge? And I had to ask for, uh, not this one, but for Rasta Labs. I got stuck a few times. I'm not ashamed to say it. And I nudged a few folks and uh, they put me on my merry way. Same thing even in the even in the uh, CPTS or penetra penetration testing path. There was some stuff on the web, the web stuff and I'm like, okay, APIs. I'm not a really API master. So I got stuck with a few things and I nudged a few folks and they didn't give me the answer. They just said, hey, check this out, do this. This command is wrong, you know, because I forgot to do a syntax or whatever. And they just corrected it and I ran it. I was on the right path, but I just didn't have the right, you know, set of uh, commands. All right. So like I said, it's all a learning experience, right? You want to do it. You want to learn it. So and I want I put a little a few little notes here of why I'm even doing this, right? So let me let me come up with those notes. 
you know, while I'm actually preparing for the CPTS exam, obviously I, I'm doing some of these, you know, supplement pro labs, like I said, Zephyr, Rasta Labs, and Dante. So I wanted to make sure I got all these done on top of what I was doing so I can make sure I'm prepared for CPTS. All right, so obviously if you wanna know the price, let me actually, because I put the price on here. So actually, uh, let's come down here. If you're interested in getting this, uh, let's see. Let's exit out of here. Let's go to, how do I purchase it? I don't even, oh, billing, maybe billing and plans. Uh, how do I get to, oh, right here, Pro Labs. So I'm not sure, I think it's, man, I don't even remember now. It says cancel plan, it doesn't even show me the, the price. But you can just go to your account, go to uh, Pro Labs bundle, and then see what it costs. I think it's a couple of bucks a month. All right, so let's come back here. So I think it was like $27, if I remember, or 50 bucks. I think it's 50 bucks, a flat rate of 50 bucks a month. All right, so let's keep coming down here of what I have. Let's see. Here, you know, we can see the change logs, everything that's been changed and updated. We can see the reviews that other people have put, and then you can see the lab. So the lab, once you're actually done, you can see that, you know, all 17 flags done, and then you get a, you download and you get a little pretty certification looking like this. So if you, I'm actually gonna print all of these out, and I just ordered a Dante shirt and a Rasta Labs shirt, so I'm gonna probably rock those with my little certification that I print out at a, whatever, Office Max or Office Depot, <laughs> just to be, I don't know, I, I think the designs for Hack the Box are super, super dope. I really like them. All right, so, like I said, what you're gonna learn in these in these labs, you're gonna need the following domains, right? Enumeration, exploitation, relay attacks, lateral movement and crossing um, trust domains and boundaries, pivoting, SQL attacks, password attacking or password cracking, privilege s privesc, and win, uh, web um, web application attacks, right? So. Like I said, I really felt like this is a great, you know, supplementary lab if you're doing the Academy and Active Directory Enumeration and Attack module. I really, really think this was awesome, right? So if you want to, if you're doing that, jump over here and do this one as well if you have the, if you have the funds. All right, so let's see what else I can um, talk about here. I didn't have any lab issues, so the lab was phenomenal. I, uh, I didn't encounter any like reboots or anything like that. I just put a little note here. The lab was great. So yeah, I, there was another note. I'm trying to see where I actually put that. And oh yeah, this is what I said. So say for example, if you're doing any training for like CRTP, CRTO, and obviously hack the box is CPTS. This is really, really good to get prepped for those two. I have not taken the CRTP or CRTO, but from red teaming, those are red teaming certifications, and I think it's an awesome way to learn as well. So let me see what else I have here. I'm just looking off my notes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. In the final words, obviously, I definitely recommend this lab. It's really, really a nice lab to learn active directory hacking. Either, you know, you're gonna bomb, or you're gonna learn tremendous. You're gonna bang your head. Trust me, I'm gonna tell you that now. Unless you're some mega genius, you're gonna bang your head. <laughs> At least I did. So that's pretty much it. So, you know, let's get your name on the next certification, get through it, and let's learn together. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you are going to DEF CON next week, I'll be there. So say hello. See you then. Cheers. <laughs>